do them before 6 o'clock, then guess what? They roll over till the next day. Mm-hmm, see you tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about some things not to do while you are quarantined. So the first thing that I want to discuss with you is, you know that white box? Yeah, the white box that's in your kitchen. Mm-hmm, you sis said it, your refrigerator. All right, try your best. Do not overeat while you are quarantined. Let me tell you something. You talking about pounds that's going to take forever and summertime is right around the corner. Girlfriend, don't overeat the house constantly. If you have children, you already fussing because you're just like, this is not a cafeteria. Okay, you're already looking at your, your monies and you're like, oh my goodness, some may have been laid off. I don't know your situation, but you are trying to ensure that the food lasts financially and that you keep yourself happy. The things that we're talking about today is to keep you happy and sane, girlfriend. You need, come, come here, come here, work on it. You in the house, I know. You gotta figure out now, you know, some things have happened. It's gonna work, it's gonna be okay. Use your resources that have been given to you, but don't overeat, all right? The television, all right? So you want to make sure that during this time that you you really try your best. Schedule yourself some television time so that you can get some other things done. You need to ensure that, you know what, there's a time for this and there's a time for that. Make time for your television time. You're going to feel so much more productive even with being in the house every single day. The next thing that I wanted to discuss is don't forget about your good habits that you have. We all have good habits. Some have more than others. All right. So don't sit there looking at this video going, you know what? I, I got a lot of good habits already. Okay. But don't forget about them. And girlfriend, those that only have a few good habits, keep those habits. This is a time where, you know what, you can pick up some other good habits for those that only have a few. And then for those who have a bunch of good habits that maybe one or two you haven't been doing regularly, this is a great time to say, okay, why have it? I've been able to keep up with those habits. Maybe I need to tweak it and you know do it a different way so don't forget about good habit all right Our priorities okay it's so easy to get overwhelmed with life in general we're now in the house and in some cases you might still be overwhelmed because you got children running around okay that's a fact that's a reality i get it oh well, guess what Let's prioritize things so we can be productive while being in the house and not being a couch potato. Okay. So with that being said, setting things up, I would say probably at max, at max, six priorities in a day. And you're going to schedule them as A priorities, B priorities, and C priorities. Two will be A, two will be B and two will be C priorities. Anything that's a C priority may roll over into the next day and may become an A or a B priority at that point in time. But you wanna make sure that you are prioritizing things so that you won't feel crazy while you're in the house. Be successful in this journey. Remember, we are trying to find joy in our journey. We wanna find joy in our journey and in order to do that, prioritize it, you know? Make it a part of your day, okay? So, two priorities in the morning, that would be your A priorities. B priorities would be around, you know, you know, mid-afternoon. And then C priorities are those things that you do. You want to do them before 
maybe six o'clock, okay? If you can't do them before six o'clock, then guess what? They roll over till the next day. Mm-hmm, see you tomorrow, okay? And then that way you can sit and you can enjoy your family for the rest of the day and you still are being productive. So the next thing that I want to discuss is exercise. That's going to be important because, again, you're stuck in the house. You already said, okay, we're not going to overeat. We're not going to sit and just look at television for hours and hours and be a couch potato. We're going to prioritize our life. We're going to remember these good habits. And part of remembering good habits is for those who exercise regularly. No, you cannot go out to your Planet Fitness. You can't go out. Okay. I know it is devastating because it's important to you. So find a way of getting that exercise done in the house. And for those of us that don't exercise on a regular, yep, you don't exercise on a regular, find yourself a little workout to do. You can find it on the phone, Instagram, got some great people. I'm going to put in my description box below someone that I really enjoy on Instagram and she posts everyday workouts, little 10 minute workouts, sometimes a little bit longer than that. I've been doing the stairs. I do something, but you need to move y'all. You need to move. So don't forget about exercise because that is important. In order for you to be productive during the day, do not fall in the abyss of social media. It is an ever ending black hole that will sucker you up alive and you will come out saying did I was was I just scrolling for two hours okay you know you've done it don't sit up there and look at me and say I don't do that mm. for real as productive as I am and as disciplined as I am I find sometimes I can get on there to look at one or two things and, and be, you know what, hey, this is what I want to look at. But then, you know what that YouTube does and Instagram does, you know, they give you stuff that you're interested in. So if you done looked at that stuff already, they won't give you more. And then what happens? You start, you look at it again. You just like, I'm only going to stay on here for a few minutes. I'm only going to stay on here for another few minutes. And a few minutes, like I said, turns into an hour and a half to two hours. So, you know what? It can suck you up alive. So. I want you to come out of this on top. I want you to come out finding joy. So in order to do that, do not get sucked up. No, 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 no. Don't get sucked up in the abyss of social media. You don't want to be part of the statistics of divorce after the quarantine. Give each other space. Go do something you want to do. Allow him to go do what he's going to do. And if you want to go and do something that's to build you up, make you stronger, make you smarter, make you wiser, you know, force you to think about things and clear up and fix things about yourself that you've been wanting to do, then you go do that. Okay, you have time because remember, prioritize yourself. You got time for the kids. You got time to cook. You got time to clean. Okay, you have time to declutter. You got time for things, girlfriend. So guess what? Being in his face is not the time for it. And also, you are in the house now all day long with each other. Creating and extending arguments isn't worth it. A lot of times it's stuff that you, if you just talk about it, you can fix. So by having a clear, hey, I'm going to go do my thing. You go do your thing. We meet up at dinner time. Let me tell you something golden. If you have children, so make sure that your children stay on a bedtime routine. Don't let them fall off of that bedtime routine. Y'all need time to Come here. Come here again. You need time together. You do. You need time together. So make sure that you prioritize your relationship. You're not in each other's faces. You give each other time and space and you don't go around arguing and fighting and you make sure you keep your children on a clear routine so that you are keeping your relationship strong. We have
have used the excuse of, oh, I don't have, girl, I don't have time for that right now. Mm, I wish I had time to start that business or I wish I had time to learn a language. I've been wanting to learn Spanish, but I really, I don't, I don't have time to learn it. Or you know what? I have been wanting to learn how to sew or to knit. Okay. I got this sewing machine in my house. I don't even know how to sew, girl. Guess what? This is the time. You got all the time in the world. Remember to check out my blog post on Thursday. And I'm going to be giving you a list of ideas to help you during this time of being quarantined of some things that you could be doing. You can do this, girl. Find joy in your journey. I'm telling you, do it. All right. So in the comment box below, Please let me know something that you want to do, something that you have been wanting to do and find joy in your journey during this time because there is no better time than now to get you back, okay? Be a better you than you were yesterday and don't forget to tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend.